And while this is her first year on Capitol Hill, she has quite the mentor on the other side of campus. Senator Shelley Moore Capito knows all about being a woman in the House of Delegates, but now as West Virginia's first female senator, she is sharing her experiences with future women on the Hill. I'm just a proud West Virginian that talks about it all the time. Senator Shelley Moore Capito is known from the Mountain State to Capitol Hill. Visiting with my brother, visiting Capitol Hill. Some would say she was born for the job. My parents uh, both served. My dad was governor and we went to uh, political dinners and parades and um, state of the or, you know state of the state addresses that my dad gave. But almost 20 years ago, when Senator Capito first found her name on a ballot, there wasn't a lot of room for women in Washington. When I was first elected in 2000, there were uh, somewhere between 56, 58 women in the House of Representatives. Of those, only eight of us had children under the age of 18. And I've seen that dramatically change. Changes have been made, but there is still a ways to go. I mean, just recently, we just made the gym co-ed. I mean, what other gym in America is not co-ed? But we, you know, some old line, um, old boys club kinds of things still exist up here on the Senate, but uh, we're making our we're making good strides. And many of those strides have come as a result of the female lawmakers working and eating together. We have dinner uh, together once every two months where one of us hosts the 25. Uh, we're not allowed, it's not supposed to be partisan, uh, but we really get to know each other personally, I think, uh, and, uh, and I think that's important when you're looking for an ally. We work on each other's bills. We're more successful in getting our bills passed. A record-breaking number of female lawmakers joined the Capitol Hill Sisterhood after after the 2018 election, but most had one blue thing in common. How do you get more Republican women to run for office? Well, I'm proud that the one Republican woman that came, new Republican woman that came to Congress is Carol Miller from the third district. So that means West Virginia, two fifths of West Virginia's representation are women. So I'm proud of that. So I think, you know, it's always been said that women have to be, want to be asked rather than put themselves out like, like most of the men are saying, oh, I'll be a good congressman and the women are waiting to be asked. I think we need to work on that aspect of it. Senator Shelley Moore Capito is very familiar with Washington, D.C., but she has some advice for those who are new to the area. If you had any advice that you would give to Congresswoman Carol Miller on her first year as an elected official here on Capitol Hill, what would you tell her? Learn to say no and learn how to um, uh, take care of yourself so you can take care of everybody else. It's not just the women on Capitol Hill that Capito is focusing on helping. It's the future women that may one day walk those halls. My program in West Virginia is West Virginia Girls Rise Up. We're going to do another one here in another week or so when I get back home. I had a lot of people come up to me and say, oh, I, I heard your dad speak at Boys State or your dad spoke at my graduation. And, you know, these being men, they said, oh, and that's what started my political career. That's what got me interested. And I thought, I can do that for women. I can do that for young women. So we go to the fifth grade. Uh, fifth grade girls uh, all across the state and hopefully someday my daughter's gonna have somebody come up to her and say I saw I went to one of your mom's girls right West Virginia girls rise up and I decided I wanted to be president of the United States or something like that